Hi guys, so today I have a very fast video for you guys. Um, I'll just be showing you guys um, what deck boxes I have currently. And uh, I'll just be recommending you guys some some of them that um, that are pretty good or some of them that uh, you may not want to buy. So firstly, I have this uh, pretty flimsy deck box, which um, I don't really use to store cards. I just store my extra sleeves and all that. Um, this was one of my first deck boxes that I bought. I don't really recommend buying this um, because um, you know the the top end over here can just fall off easily and uh, it's just very flimsy overall. Um, there are other ones that are better, uh, which I will be showing you guys uh, after this. So another one that I have by the same uh, company is called Ultimate Guard. Uh, yeah, Ultimate Guard is this acrylic case over here which I used to put cards in but um, I swapped to other deck boxes so this case is pretty hard and if you want to store more cards uh, you can't really do that because it doesn't stretch so that's one of the reasons I don't really use this to store cards anymore um, so I use it to store dices now um, yeah so this is for the acrylic case another deck box that I have is by Dragon Shield um, this is also one of my first deck boxes just that uh, it's pretty bulky and I've moved on to using uh, more slim fit boxes uh, if I can say that so this one right um, I would say it's pretty good because um, it uses magnets to, to shut the deck box. So over here you can see, yeah, it just clips on. Um, and it's pretty uh, heavy duty as well. It doesn't really break easily. And uh, just that one um, bad thing about this is that uh, it's similar to the acrylic case in a way that it doesn't really stretch. So if you want to put more cards, uh, you can't really do that. Uh, but overall, still pretty good. Uh, I'm pretty sure there are two different types um, when it comes to this kind of cases. Uh, there's the other one which is slightly longer where you can store uh, your dices and all that. Um, yeah. So that's for the Dragon Shield. Um, Texture-wise, um, pretty solid. There's like two different layers um, of material over here as compared to like this one or the other one just now. Um, so, if you want to buy this, um, uh, by all means, I guess, uh, I don't think it's that cheap as well, so you might want to consider that as well. So, another one by, or, or rather going back to Ultimate Guard that I used to use is this pretty big case over here. Um, one good thing about this is that you can actually store two decks uh, using this. Uh, so yeah, over here you have one pocket uh, which you can store one one deck um, and over here you have another one but in the middle you can store uh, all your dices and all that uh, in this middle section so this is also one uh, good thing just that it's pretty bulky um, there's a lot of material that goes into this uh, box so you might want to consider that as well and uh, another thing is um, it is not that cheap also. I think it's around 20 to 40 dollars if I remember correctly. I don't remember how much I got this for but uh, it's pretty bulky. Um, not very ideal if you want to travel really far. So uh, that's also why I don't use this anymore. Uh, yeah. So what exactly do I use now is I've moved on to using this, which is very light. Uh, you can open it e easily. Um, I mean, same goes for the rest, but another th good thing about this is that this is very flexible. So if you want to store more cards, you can just, um, I guess, squeeze a, bit, a, a little bit of, uh, a, or rather, more cards in. Um, as compared to the rest, uh, so yeah, so this is what I've been using now. Um, uh, 
uh, for a few months now. Uh, so these kinds, it comes in two different types. Uh, you have the horizontal ones and you have the vertical ones. Um, they kind of work the same. Uh, you just open it differently, I guess. Um, so it really depends on what you want. Sorry, I'm really recording this uh, at night, so I may not have the best focus. But uh, I just want to get a video out to you guys. So, yeah. So if you guys have at least three of it, I recommend um, getting like a box like this, where you can store um, three of your deck boxes, just like that. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all the deck boxes that I have. Um, I, you guys can really choose what you guys want. Um, it's really up to your preference. Um, as you can see from uh, the previous boxes that I used, it, it really boils down to what you like. Um, because, you know, I started with, started with this and then I moved on to something like this. So uh, you need to really test out and see what you really like. Um, and maybe end up with um, something. So yeah that's about it for this video i think um maybe another good thing about this is that um there's like actually designs on it so that um you know if you if you like a certain anime or 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 whatever you can just like get a deck box and you know have something nice to look at instead of something um something like this where there's really like no design at all um yeah but i guess that's for more um that's for people who who are really into a certain anime but if you're not um you know definitely you can always stick to the normal ones uh so yeah i think i'll, I'll end this video here i kind of tired now <laughs> uh had a long day so yeah hope you guys enjoyed um yeah, see you guys.